Welcome back to another update day in old school and this week we have some big changes to tithe farm. To kick things off, griefing will no longer be a factor because tithe farm is now going to be instanced and solo only. And then on top of that you'll be able to bring in more seeds and earn more points more frequently. For every 3 plants you turn in you'll be awarded 1 point and for every 100 plants you turn in you'll be awarded an additional 2 points. And another huge change is they've doubled the amount of Beloga's blessings received when purchasing items from the reward shop, and they've also added herb boxes. The herb boxes will cost 30 points, but in even bigger news, they're going to be available to purchase for Ironman accounts. And this comes as a surprising change because usually Ironman aren't available to purchase herb boxes, but they did mention that they do value opinion and are open to adjustments based on constructive feedback. In other changes this week, Tortured, Demonic Gorillas, and The Hunliff have all been given additional audio cues, making it now so you'll be able to hear a clear audio cue when they're about to switch, rather than just mindlessly counting their attacks. And then finally, outside of a few graphical changes and some fixes to the clients, the last update we have this week is the additional of Scaly Blue Dragon Hides being added to the drop tables of Baby Blue Dragons at a 1 in 100 rate, Adult Blue Dragons at 1 in 50, Brutal Blues at 1 in 33, and then Vorkath at a 1 in 10 drop rate. All of these drops will be in addition to the existing drop table and will not replace any other item. And then on top of that, another change is cutting any hide in your inventory will process all of the others automatically, but it will still be faster to click each one individually if you are going for speed. But with that, that's everything for this week's update. If you guys did enjoy or found it helpful, consider dropping a like down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.